Today we're here to talk about what I call caregiver and care receiver coping strategies. Are you a caregiver who is exhausted by continual doctor appointments, visits to hospital emergency rooms, urgent care, your loved one continually saying they're in pain or they have health issues and you've tried everything and you don't know what to do? I'm Pamela D. Wilson. My website is PamelaDWilson.com. On there, lots of helpful information for caregivers and aging adults, including one-to-one -one consultations with me by telephone or video call. So I want to talk about several reasons why caregivers become exhausted and what you can do about it. So let's talk about the example of a person that you're caring for that really has a lot of needs, a lot of health issues. And to the earlier mention, you may be going to the doctor all the time, hospital emergency rooms, urgent care clinics, because they express concerns about their health or pain. And you don't want to ignore them because they may be serious, but every time you go to the hospital or the urgent care, there's really nothing definitive about what's wrong. What do you do as a caregiver? In these cases, it's really important to try to identify the problem. And this can take a lot of work on your part because you're with this person all of the time. As you know, you have very limited time in medical appointments. And so in looking at what that problem really is, it's taking the time to really identify the problem because sometimes what the problem or the issue is, it's not evident, it's not easily discoverable, and what we think it is really isn't what it is. <laughs> and so what I mean by that is, is it a medical problem? Is it up here? Is it a mental problem? Is it anxiety? Is it worry? Is it fear? Is it frustration? Is the problem that you or the person you're caring for wants a lot of control over the situation? Or do you have very definitive or entrenched beliefs about what's right, what's wrong, what should be done, what can't be done, what you're willing to do versus what you should do? Many times the problem is a combination of things. So it could be a combination of health and then what we're willing to do about that health problem. But sometimes it's also figuring out what that health problem is. And so when we talk about coping skills for the caregiver and the person that you're caring for, when you look at that problem and you do a little investigation, sometimes you may have to look at process of elimination, which means we think it's these 10 things, okay? So we go through each of them one at a time, and we say, no, nope, not that, no, nope, not that, not that, but you know, maybe it's this, so we should look at this one a little further. Then when something happens, how many times do we all just get into a panic? Something happens and we're like, oh my gosh, I've got to take this person to the emergency room. I've got to call somebody. I've got to do this. I've got to do this. It's like, ah, we are so emotionally stressed and crazed. It's that emotional turbulence that I talk about. What if instead you actually thought of a way to respond better so that your emotions are not going all the way through the roof and you're not going crazy and you're not thinking, gosh, am I going crazy? I'm so stressed. I hate this every day. Okay. So then you write down a coping pattern and a coping pattern may be when this happens, I first do X and then I do these three other things. And if these three other things don't work, then I do Y. So in looking at caregiving coping strategies for very demanding care situations, we've got to really identify what the problem is, go through the process of elimination, figure out solutions to the problem, figure out if we're open to solutions to the problem, and then come up with coping strategies. I'm Pamela D. Wilson. My website is PamelaDWilson.com. On there, one-on-one -on -one consultations with me, my caregiving library, my caregiving blog, my book, online courses that are like binge watching a Netflix series, my weekly podcast, The Caring Generation. Please share this video. Please like this video. Follow me on YouTube. Um, share this with other people who are looking for hope, help, support, and a little bit of direction. Have a fabulous day today. I'll see you all again soon in another video.